The Air Force Technology Transfer Program helps move important new technologies from Air Force Research Centers into the private sector, where they can benefit the U.S. military and American economy. This is the story of one of them. In 2008, the Special Operations Command reached out to the Air Force Research Laboratory, or AFRL, in Rome, New York, asking the engineers there to build them a complete satellite terminal that could fit into a paratrooper's rucksack for deployment into remote parts of the world. So I said, yeah, we'll, we'll give it a shot. And so we, uh, we built a prototype, an initial prototype. The only problem and issue he had was the size of the satellite dish. And he wanted to reduce the size from, from what it currently was to a much smaller package, so it could be actually man-packable. In conversations with the AFRL Material Directorate in Dayton, Ohio, Dave Lagar heard about a two-man company in Utah called Eclipse that was working with a light, conductive, nanoparticle composite material. So Lagar reached out to them. We just decided, based on the needs of his program, that we would create a demonstration article. He was able to fund us through a credit card purchase of just a couple thousand dollars to, to get us started, which didn't even come close to covering the cost. We had literally turned my garage into a small prototype manufacturing area. And so he built it, and we got it, and we tested it at our range at Newport, and it performed perfectly. So the next step was for us to figure out how to design a segmentable antenna made of this composite material. Lagar set about designing and patenting a segmented dish which Eclipse licensed with assistance from TechLink, a Department of Defense technology transfer partner. TechLink also helped Eclipse establish a cooperative research and development agreement, or CRADA, with AFRL. What it is is just an exchange of, of value. In other words, uh, we provide them the design that they could use and engineering help and customer requirements and they do the R&D and fabrication. TechLink's companion program, Miltech, another DOD technology transfer partner, provided hands-on manufacturing assistance to overcome technical issues and develop an effective manufacturing plan. Miltech reached out to us at a very critical juncture, and so they were able to provide to us some technical direction to help us create new designs that would better meet the objectives of our program. The portable, lightweight, segmented satellite antenna is now used by special forces and emergency first responders in some of the most remote and rugged parts of the world. For our antenna system to get that set up, we've created a unique design where all the pedals are interchangeable. So it's literally just grab something and throw it in place and assemble it together. From, from start to finish, from box to uh, having a signal is less than two minutes. Eclipse has sold around 3,000 units ranging in size from a few inches to 12 feet. And it has allowed Eclipse to grow from a two-man operation to a company of over 20 employees with a new larger manufacturing facility under construction. Dave's technology is a true technology transfer success in, in, in a multiplicity of ways. It's a, a lot of satisfaction knowing that you, you know, that your work meant something, that it's for one, you know, is used by the, by the DOD community and the fact that it's, uh, you help the company build the companies. Air Force technology transfer, benefiting the U.S. defense mission, small business, and the American public. For more information, contact the Air Force Technology Transfer Program.